Shalom, Shalom. It's Brother Yatazadak here of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Right? Gonna do it. There's a quick lesson touching on the folly in uh, Israel. Right? False accusations. Right? Proud ass women. Right? And, um, right originally i didn't i didn't want to do a lesson on this right because i figured there would be more constructive ways uh to do it than this but you know let me just because these other camps they're watching right they don't want us to correct them right so this is what brought me uh to do this lesson right uh, this is uh, an Eve, right? Rebellious woman, right? This is what this this is what she's saying, right? Coming up against the truth. This is disgusting. Block and report everyone in this thread, right? This is concerning the uh, so-called uh, uh, grape doctrine, right? We know. Th these other camps are watching. We know that the truth hurts, right? We know, like Hamashayak, Yahushai said, there would be false prophets in these last days, deceive, deceiving and being deceived, right? So check this out, all right? Let's see, post in scripture, is in teaching now debating scriptures can definitely definitely be seen as a teaching right which is not true right the scriptures say that i suffer a woman not to teach right she should be silent under subjecting also like the law says right so the job of you women is to sit back kick back relax Get this word, and raise your children. Simple as that, right? But looks like, right, our people don't like to take correction, right? They like to deflect, project, change the subject, right? So let's see what, what these other uh, uh, posts say, right? So that went to a side note saying, I have a serious question. Why were some of the leaders in your camp claiming that they can rape children? Also, is this something you brothers condone? Right? The answer is no. Right? Was it an ancient custom? Yes. Not child rape, but women. Uh, uh, when you had children... Female children, after you reach a certain age, you reach puberty, and there is a law, Deuteronomy 22, that says, if you find the damsel in the field, and you force her, you have to pay her father 50 shekels, and she has to be your wife, right? So this is what is taught in the Torah. This was an ancient custom. Are we saying to go out and do that today? No. The answer is no. Simple as that. Paul the Apostle spoke on it. He said, all things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. Right? So you Eves, right? You other camps, right? You've been found liars. You've been found, uh, uh, you're proud. You're false accusers. Right? You need to step back and let the, let the, let the real men teach. Right, and that goes for your other camps as well, right? So let's see what else it says. Um, let's see. All right. So all that this says right here is what I just reiterated, right?
but then you got this, right? So you got, and I'm pretty sure these are members of IUIC, right? Posting snippets. Said it was okay to rape twelve-year-old girls. I don't know if that's. I'm ready to now. Is that when you go into the law in the ancient world? If they saw a woman that they like, they can grab the woman up and rape the woman, man. Right? Hey, oh, you can't rape yeah. the woman. If I feel like raping the woman, I'm going to rape the woman. Now you going to tell me, oh, you can't rape yeah. the woman. If I feel like raping the woman, I'm going to rape the woman. Now you going to tell me, oh, you can't rape the woman. If I feel like raping the woman, I'm going to rape the woman. Two. I think it's two and three. Yeah, two. Take it, take it Peter, second chapter. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Yeah, your daughter gonna get raped, Nick. Your daughter gonna get raped, Nick. Your daughter gonna get raped. Said it was okay to rape 12 year old girls. I don't know if that's. I'm ready to teach now. Is that when you go into the law in the ancient world, men. You see that? If they saw a woman that they like, they can. Snippets. Right? This is how these other camps operate. Right? They're sneaky. Right? They're moving in the spirit of, of uh, the serpent, right? Using subtility, right? Using um, um, guile, right? And you have righteous guile, right? You had uh, Paul the Apostle, right? He used righteous guile to get out of, out of a situation, but we're not in that type of situation. This is serious, right? This is about speaking the truth, showing our people what is in the word, what is in the Tawarah, right? The Torah, right? Which is the root of that is Yara, right? To direct, directions, right? So the Most High gave Israel directions concerning uh, various scenarios, right? And the scriptures say what they say, right? Now, um, right? So let's see what else we got here. Uh, right. So you can see what what other Apostle Har said is not what it says on that caption. Right. So this sister here claims she saw the video, but she's posting a snippet. Right. So now you got them trying to put words right in brothers' mouths, right? Um, right, and um, let's see what else we got right here. So if I can, I'm pretty sure there's something else to this thread. So if I can, just bear with me. Uh, let's see what we got right here. So like, yeah. All right, I think this is it right here. Now check this out, right? This is this is the spirit that uh that Jake is in, right? It's a lot. All right, check this out. Let's see what we got. All right. So through the power of spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Hopefully you pick up something from this, right? The script. What what do the scriptures say, right? What's spoken in darkness will come into light. What is spoken in secret should be spoken on the housetops, right? Now, there was another way I was going to present this. I was going to do a formal lesson, but you got you got spies, you got agents going on these forums, right? And 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 trying to get trying to uh, delete their 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 mistakes, right? Because they've been found liars. They they. Right, saying all kind, all manner of uh, uh, of madness. 
right? Putting words in brothers' mouths, right? And you teachers are going to get it the worst, right? IUIC, those, those, those that are promoting division in Israel, right? The scriptures say that you will receive the, 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 uh, the greater damnation, right? Talking about the ancient Pharisees, right? Who for a pretense make long prayers to be seen of men. Right, they're gonna receive the greater damnation because they're the ones, right, promoting lies, hypocrisies, right? Now let's get this. Right. So you see, right, do you agree with child rape? Yes or no? That the video did not say anything about that. The brothers who went into the Torah. Did not say anything about that, right? Now here's another unlearned uh, uh, individual saying, question, Ak, what is the valuation of a female or male at 14 years old different from a person who is 20 years old according uh, to Leviticus 27, right? So we're going to touch on that in a minute, but check this out, right? So the brother answered that the age groups are 5 to 20. How does that help your argument, right? Lo, you answered my question with a question. You gave me no answer. That's disrespectful, right? So if you're, if you're on these forums and if you have the answers, you're going to prove your point right away. But these, got, these, these individuals, right, they, they know not the law they they do know not what they teach like it says in the book of Timothy right um let's see what else we have right here just trying to dialogue but if you don't want to I won't answer either right so you got Jake moving in the spirit of of a of a of a two year old right uh um right it's clear that anybody in the age group isn't considered an adult and isn't marriageable, right? Which is not true. Leviticus 27 is talking about valuations, right? Versus uh, 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 pertaining to different age groups, right? When one makes a vow, which goes with uh, he, uh, Numbers chapter 30, right? So let's analyze the text, right? What does the text say? Let's get that real quick. Salakia. Um, let's go to the blue letter. Right. Leviticus 27. Right. And the difference between us, when I say us, I say we at Hero Israel. And GMS because again, I always make it clear in my videos. I am not a member of GMS, but I follow the doctrine. So check this out. Leviticus 27. What does it say? And that's the difference between the men and and the and the and the and the boys. Right? Those that are speaking truth and those that are lying. Why? Because we back it up with, with scripture, archaeology, history, uh, etymology, right? So Leviticus 27 and 1 says, Why the bar Yahweh al Masha la Amar, right? The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Speak to the children of Israel, say unto them, When a man shall make a singular vow, the person shall be for the Lord by thy estimation. Right? The bar al Banaya Yasharala, wa amarath al aham. Right? Uh, ayash, kaya, yapala. Right? Ayash meaning man, kaya because pala meaning to distinguish. Right, Nadari vow, right, Ba Araka, right, Iraq meaning to set in order, right, 
uh, 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 for example, in the Torah, it says you're going to set the order of the shoe bread according to a certain order. So you're going to set it in place, right? Napashat la Yahawa, right? Napash meaning soul. Tata makes it plural, right? Souls, right? To Yahweh, right? And thy estimation shall be of the male from 20 years old, even unto 60 years old. Even thy estimation shall be 50 shekels of silver after the shekel of the sanctuary. Right? Wahaya, right, and will be, right? Thy, thy, your, uh, setting in order or estimation, right? Zakazakar, the male. Maban, from the son of 20 years, Ashariam Shana. Wa'ad, and even the son of, of, uh, 60, right? So from 20 to 60, Right, you notice it says a car that means male, right? Uh, and will be your estimation, right? Hamashium meaning 50, Hamash is five, Ishar is 10, the Yam makes it 20, right? The Yam and Hamash makes it 50, right? Shekels, Shekwal. Of silver kasap upon the shekel of the sanctuary, right? Wa'am nakwaba, and if 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 it be a female, the am meaning if ma that the the a and the ma is 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 with, right? And if if it be a female, right? Hawa. She or he, right? But here it says, and if it be a female, she, right? And will be, right? The estimation, shalashium, meaning 30 shekels, right? So nothing in the text alludes uh, to a child, from child to adult. This is talking about the gender. Doesn't say Elam or Elama, meaning young man, young woman. It doesn't say Nayer, right? It doesn't say Bathwala, virgin, right? It doesn't say, um, what is the other one? You have, uh, right, Yalad, right? Meaning, uh, um, infant, right? Leviticus 27 and 5. And if it be from 5 years old, even unto 20 years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male 20 shekels. For the female, 20 shekels. Right? Wa'amaban hamash shanayim. And if it be a son of 5 years, right? Shana meaning a year. Shanayim makes it plural. Wa'ad banaisharim shana, and even a son of uh, 20, right? So from 5 to 20, right? Uh, right, if it be what? Uh, from 5 to 20, right? It would be 20 shekels for the male, for the female, 10 shekels. Right, so their argument is, which is what the brother asked in the thread, why is there a difference between male and shema and 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 um, um, the uh, male, right, or or if it if it was a he or a she, right, why is there a difference in in in, in evaluation? For example, here in Leviticus twenty-seven and five. Right? Why is it 20 uh, for a male, right? 
for female ton shekels, right? The simple answer to that is men were considered, right, more precious than the women. Why? Because the man carries a seed. Case in point, you have the account in the book of Judges where it says what? That uh, uh, the, the Levite, which had a concubine, right? When the men of, of the Benjamite city come past their door, just like, just like with Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah, right? They were attempting, right? To uh, to um to uh, uh, get the Levite to come out right from the man's house where he was sojourning right in order to get to know him which you know what that means right they were moles right but the point is what the man of that house did and the Levite they said look. Dude, he said, look, the man of the house said, I'm going to give you my daughter. Do not do nothing to this man. The Levite put his concubine outside, right? So, and and they, they, they abused her, right? Which means, right, they took advantage of her, right? Right? Same thing, the, uh, the, the account that you read about with Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. So they didn't they didn't just say, OK, I'm going to come out and don't, don't do nothing to my daughter. No, they said, look, take her, do what you want. Don't do nothing to the man. Right. Because through the through the through the male. Right. Is is was was is and was and still is the most precious because through the male you can. Create more of your own race, of your own bloodline, right? Which is why you have the law on uh, raising up, right? If you had a brother, right, and and he died not having children, your job as as the as as the dead brother's brother, you would have to raise up seed unto your brethren, right? If not, right, you, 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 there was a law concerning that as well, right? But the point is that there's a difference in valuation for that simple fact. Not because from a certain age to certain age, right, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're children. And then a certain age to a certain age is talking about, well, these are uh, teenagers and then these are adults. That is... Nowhere in the text does it is it allude to any of that, right? Now moving on, right? So it says, Wahaya, and it will be, you're setting an order, Irak, Irakak, Hazakar, the male, Isharium, Shequalium, right? Twenty shekels, Wala Nakwaba. Isharath Shequalium and the female would be evaluated at ten shekels. Right? And so on and so forth, right? From a month old to five years, right? For the male, five shekels of silver. Female, right, would be three shekels. Right? Leviticus 27 and 7. 60 years old and above. The male will be evaluated at 15, right? And the, the, the female at 10 shekels, right? That's all that says, right? So now let's go back to the thread. Salakia. So it says... It says it's clear that anybody in that age group isn't considered an adult and isn't marriageable. Right? So he's saying, right? Um, right? 
What is the valuations of a female or male at 14 year old different from a person who was 20? Right? And he, you see, he just proved absolutely nothing. Right? From ages 5 to 20, what does this say? It's a lot of get that real quick. Ages 5 to 20. Right? Um, so like, yeah. from five to 20, right? Male 20 shekels, female 10 shekels, right? Proves absolutely nothing, right? Again, you know, this is just Jake talking out the side of their ass. They have nothing constructed to say, they're proud, they, 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 they still, they're still in a, right, Western mindset. They're offended at the word, right? They're offended at the law, right? When Yahweh Shai said what? Bless is he that is not offended in me, right? So, um, let's see what it says here. Uh, so I wrote your assumption is wrong. It is a terrible assumption at that. Because what does Numbers 30 and 3 say? It says that if a woman vow a vow, being in her father's house from her youth, her father can disannul it. Right? So I was asking him, what does Numbers 30 and 3 say? What does the text say? Is that concerning a woman or a child? Right? Which is, was my attempt to see if he knew even what, what the hell the law is talking about. Right? You got a lot of uh, simps in Israel as well, right? Let's see what this says. Numbers 30 and 3, right? Says what? If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord, and bind herself by a bond, being in her father's house, house in her youth, right? So I asked him. This verse, is it talking about an adult or a child, right? Because it says, Wa'asha, right, woman, Kaya, the dar, right? Because uh, she vows a vow to Yahweh, Wa'asara, as right? Meaning to bind, right? The ha at the end makes it feminine. Right, meaning it's talking about the woman, and she binds herself a, to be bound in the in uh in the house babayath abaya of her father. Right, uh, ba nayar nayarya. Right, in her youth. Right. So again, Numbers chapter thirty. Leviticus 27 is, does not distinguish, is not talking about adult, child, neither, neither is it saying what this brother just said, right? Because he said, he said what? It's clear that anybody in that age group isn't considered an adult and isn't marriageable, and that is false. It does not allude to that in any way, shape, or form in the text, right? Because ba nayar nayarya, right? Nayar meaning damsel means young woman, right? It also means girl, depending on the context, right? Or boy, right? But nayarya is, it denotes an upbringing, right? We're gonna prove that, right? Because, right? Because it says in Genesis 8 and 21, right, that the imagination of man's heart is evil from their youth, from their upbringing, right? Same with Leviticus 22 and 13. If the priest's daughter be a widow, divorced, and have no child, and is returned unto her father's house as an adult, here it's distinguishing the fact that this is talking about an adult woman. Numbers chapter 30 and 3 is talking about 
a woman who is under the charge of her father. It could be in her youth, right? Or it can be before, uh, 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 right? Um, before she she leaves under the the supervision of her father, right? So it's not talking about a certain age group. It's not talking about, right? It, 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 this is talking about adult women and and uh, a young uh, 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 a girl because in the ancient days you had a woman that was under uh, the supervision of her father whether she was married out or not she could have been five she could have been 20 she could have been 30 right Nayaria just means that denotes the fact that she was still under her father's roof under the supervision right but you got brothers in israel right they love to make assumptions they love to add to the word right they want to twist scripture right just like what is being done here in uh, leviticus 27 right it's clear that anybody in that age group isn't considered an adult and is marriageable how would you get that when it, the only thing you read, it says male, female, from this age to is, this age, the valuation is at this and that. Right? Same thing, numbers 30 and 3, which was the whole point. Right? But yet, when you, once, once you tell, once you have, speak with some common sense, Jake likes to deflect, act like they're stupid. Right? So what do you say? This verse has nothing to do with marriage. Try again. When that's not what I was speaking on. Right? So now let's read. Uh, so I wrote never said it had to do with marriage. The topic here is vows. Just like in Leviticus 27. Simple, plain and clear. Right? Like the scriptures say. Playing upon tables, right? You're saying that the age groups in Leviticus 27 allude to the fact that some are considered adults and some are considered children, when that is not the case, right? Moving on, right? It says he can oppose it if he makes it within her father's house while in her youth. Meaning what? She is not of marriageable age or betrothed. Right, which he's touching on a whole something that I did not even mention. Something that has nothing to do with the argument. Right. So he said, right. So be completely missing the whole point. But he said, meaning she is not of a marriageable age or betrothed. Right. And, and again, he did not answer my question, right? Not of marriageable age could mean you, 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 you're not, you're, you're, you're still a child, right? You're still under your, the, the supervision of your father. But what, what does it say, which is the point I brought up, Leviticus 22 and 13. But if the priest's daughter be a widow or divorced and have no child and is returned unto her father's house as in her youth, that same word, Nyaria, she shall eat of her father's meat, but there shall no stranger eat thereof. Right? So if the daughter is grown, divorced, returns under the supervision of her father, right? That same word, Nyaria, right? Which this brother just said, it denotes a marriageable, uh, uh, non-marriageable uh, age, meaning that is talking about, right, a child and not a woman. When here, right, it's talking about a grown adult, right? So which one is it, right? This is this is this this is what these people at IUIC teach teach their teach their people, right, to use, uh, um schematics right uh, uh wordplay 
right? Which that's all that means, right? Um, to dance around, right? The questions, right? So his answer was wrong, right? It doesn't mean that she is not of mar marriageable age, right? And you see, he didn't put girl, a boy, adult, right? He put she is not of marriageable age. Right. So what does what does that mean? Right. She's not of the age to be to, to get married. Right. So he's trying to say that that was talking about a child. Right. When. The daughter of a priest, she's divorced, she would be back under the God under the supervision of her father, Nyaria. Right. So numbers 30 and 3, the point is, it doesn't specify exclusively to a child. You could be a woman that has passed the flower of your youth, like, like Paul the Apostle said, right? And he said you should you should marry her. If not, she will burn for she will lust and burn. Right? And burn in her lust. But it wasn't it does uh, numbers 30 and 3, the point is. You had women, certain women that, that were not married and were well beyond their, their, their childhood into womanhood and were still not married. So you still had the father that had the power to disannul any vows that that woman made, right? So it's not exclusive to age, just like Leviticus 27, right? So it... Here's where I explained it, right? As in her youth, this is a correlation also to the state of living she is reverting back to, right? In Leviticus 22 and 13, right? Which is what I just proved right here, right? Jake is just, you know, when you when you find Jake to, to be a liar, right? They state the obvious. Right. Remember, context supersedes etymology before you go into words. Incorrect. Context and etymology go hand in hand because you would not know. Right. What what is even being interpreted unless you have the text? The text cannot be interpreted unless you know context. That's why it's called context. Con meaning with text. Right, but this is Jake likes to right use wordplay, right? Be a damn damn demon, right? And, and instead of right dividing the words of truth, uh, rightfully, right? So it says, remember, context supersedes etymology before you go into words, and this is what they teach in at IUIC, right? Um. So yet, he says, you, you, the one who's wrong. How? When I just said what he, what this brother just stated, right? One jot or tittle will not fail from the law. Ak, not one context supersedes etymology. Not no context supersedes etymology, because now that you've been found a liar, now you want to use etymology when I prove my point using both, right? That's exactly what I did. Laughing my ass off. So the law says you can sleep with a 12 year old who just started menstruation. I did not say anything that even alludes to that. This is how, you know, you, you can tell a false accuser, right? A youthful child who knows not to operate in this world or care for themselves. That's retarded because I didn't say any of that. I showed what was in the law. I proved my argument. And when you when and then Jake just goes to scoff, right? So I wrote, I'm not gonna block you. Keep scoffing, right? Because I left this out without deleting it in order for edification to go out. And I was gonna do the lesson in different format, but you have agents, you have agent provocateurs, you have those that don't want the truth to go out, like I showed in the beginning of the video. Right. 
you know, same report the thread and whatnot, this and that. All right. So there you go. All right. Nothing but a bunch of uh, right liars. Right. So here's another one. Um, so see, this is what Jake does. They scoff. Your comprehension is off. In scripture, conversation apparently. Right, you said completing two verses. Right, bunch of uh, uh, nonsense. Right. Now, um, let's see what else I got right here. No, I put something else. One more. Let's do uh Let's see if I can pull that up real quick. So like yeah. Right? So this this lesson is touching on folly, right? Folly in Israel, right? Proud women scoffers unlearned men right speaking of that right you have a super super hebrew right doing the same uh right putting words right brother's mouse um so like okay, let me see if i can click on that right it says this doesn't support your idea of just taking it if you read that verse correctly this isn't rape for sex but volunteering sex hence the words they be found right Deuteronomy 22 28 if a man find a damsel that is a virgin which is not betrothed and lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found right that word for found is mataza'a, right? Ma meaning of taza'a to go out, right? For example, your call red handed, right, would be mataza'a, uh, yar adam, right? Or in a uh, euphemistic sense, right, caught or caught in the act, right? The act is what? The man taking a hold of the damsel, right? Same thing you read about in the book of Mark. The damsel, which was 12, right? That Yahweh Shai, right, healed. Same thing, right? So the brother said, do not embarrass, don't embarrass yourself, right? So proud, right? Again, you don't know any Hebrew, save it. You won't embarrass yourself. If the word... Namataza awa doesn't indicate them both, then lekwach doesn't mean rape. Lekwach means to take, right? Not the posh, that's not what the text in question says, right? Like I said, so I answered, like I said, nothing in the text alludes to the damsel consenting and to the man to lay with her. You have not proved anything, but I'm showing you that the text says, he, the posh, took hold of her and lied shakab with her. And mataza'a, they were found. Simple as that. Right? So he said, laughing my ass off, even in that translation, it's not saying what they're saying. Right? Again, the scriptures say prove all things. Right? But, right, you just have, right? Uh, 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 these individuals that, that just go on these uh, threads, these forums, uh, just to scoff, right? Not proving a damn thing and nothing even close, right? So let's uh, see if I can pull up the scripture which I uh, posted um Salakia. Uh, Salakia. Let me see if I can get 
that. Um, right, so there you go. Scriptures say what? Contend for the faith. Right? Um, Slackia. So look at this, right? Uh, hide your nine-year-old daughters from GMS men. Uh, yeah, that's not it. Um, no, that's not it either. Uh, let me see. Slackia. After that, I'm going to close up the, the lesson, right? To the power of spirit, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakudash, uh, Lord willing, you were edified. But let's get this last. Just to show you, um, Eve has no idea what, either what she says, and, right, these females, they just run off pure emotion at the end of the day. Right, so let's see. Um, so like, yeah. no, that's not it. Not it. That's not it. That's not it. Particular, all right, here it is. Right now, let's just look at the thread in question. Right, it says what? Right, this is a same proud, right, individuals that, right, claim to believe in the, in the gospel and the word, right, they claim to be Israelites, but, but they, they're tossed, like the scriptures say, by. By the slightest of wind, right? Having it in ears, right? So, for Second Samuel, or this is from the Book of Genesis, right? Trying to uh, say that that not ought to be done is talking about uh, rape, which is in the Torah, right? Because of part the reason for Torah is to give you scenarios and how to handle scenarios. Hence, the word Thawara, directions. Right? Direction. Right? Um, which is where you get the word uh, Jerusalem, which is Yara Shalom. Shalom means peace, but it also means uh, uh, wholeness. Right? To be wholesome, complete. Right? When Solomon completed the temple, which he built in the name of his father, David, King David, it said he completed the building of the temple, and that word for completed is shalom. Right? So all these things, right? The law, the prophets, prophecy, the Israelites, the remnant, right? Which will, right? All this is leading to what? Order uh, uh, returning back to earth, right? Second Samuel 13 and 12. And she answered him, Nay, my brother, do not force me. For no such thing ought to be done in Israel. Do not thou this folly. Right? That's talking about, I believe, Absalom. Right? And, um, um, anyways, Genesis 20 and 9. Right? Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee? That thou hast brought on me and my kingdom a great sin. Thou hast done deeds unto me that thou ought not to be done. Right? Because Sarah, Abraham's wife, was brought before Abimelech because she had said Abraham was her brother. Right? Leviticus 4 and 2. Speak on the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against right, any of the commandments of the Lord. Right? Right, that, that that this is how you know, right? These other uh, uh, 
camps are not teaching a goddamn thing, right? Because all you see is the same rhetoric, right, being regurgitated by their followers, which is completely off. That's not what the scriptures say. That is not what Torah, what the what the Torah says. That is not right. According to prophecy, the things that they say are not correct. Right? Because my answer was, how in the book of Judges, the Levite who offered up his concubine to be raped wasn't judged? Or Lot who offered up his daughter to the men of Sodom, but was called a righteous man in the New Testament. But I thought this was something not ought to be done. Right? Which proves my point, right, concerning Leviticus 27, Numbers 30 and 3. Right? But anyways, right, you all get the point, right? Lord willing, you were edified. Uh, this brother Yatazadak here, Israel, and say Kwame Asharala, and a Bible ball, Shalom. And Lord willing, you were edified, Shalom.